right, welcome to the Super Registry. Today we're going to go over some radio wiring again, just like the previous video, but this time it's due to the fact that they hardwired it. So, what they ended up doing was somebody in either Japan or Aruba, where this right hand drive super came from, cut the terminals off, all right, the, the original connectors, they cut them off and they hardwired everything to their radio connector and since i'm putting in a new radio this connector doesn't fit and this is the biggest like a-hole way of doing this there's no reason to ever do this ever period ever unless someone stole your radio and cut the wiring there's no reason to do this all right so we're going to fix this <clears throat> the way to do that is order new plugs so you need this plug and you will need this plug and I will post the part numbers and stuff for you in the, uh, you know, whatever, the bottom of the video description. And then you need these TS-090 connectors. <clears throat> the other thing is, when you get your new radio, it's going to come with this little harness adapter, all right? You can splice all of that <clears throat> into this adapter piece which you can buy from either crutchfield or amazon or walmart like literally all of them sell a toyota radio harness adapter so then all you have to do is plug it in and then it's plug and play so the next guy all right when he goes to change out this radio he can either cut it here and swap out his radio stuff to this one or he can just buy a new adapter and wire in his radio to it if he doesn't like the one that you have, him or her, whatever, right? So that's what we're going to do. This is going to be simply plug back in like it should have from the beginning <clears throat> after we put these connectors on. So I'm going to cut all of this, but not before I make a little chart. And I'll post the chart as well for what colors go to what. All right. And then once everything's cut and stripped down and crimp on the connectors... Then we'll plug the connectors into the plugs, and that's it. No terminals into the connectors. You get where I'm going with this, all right? Then we can plug in the radio, which I have right here, and everything will be gravy. We'll make sure it works, and then button the car back up. But I just wanted to show you that you can still get the connectors. Um, I want to thank Cam Renard at uh, Tweaked Performance for getting me these. Um, he builds engine harnesses and all kinds of stuff tweak performance is like the goat when it comes to harnesses uh, specifically for supers but they do a bunch of other cars as well um every super i've ever built that's high horsepower has one of his harnesses in it so i think he does a phenomenal job i definitely want to give him the shout out not because i'm getting any kickbacks or anything i don't care about that he just like literally is the goat so thanks for these he over he even like overnighted them for me so I didn't have them, you know, by Friday so I could get the car up and running today. And then I could drive it around all weekend and enjoy the Supra. So just wanted to give a shout out. He definitely deserves it. Here's another look of those connectors plugged into the terminals. So if this was connected to the factory harness, I could literally just plug it in. So I just wanted to clarify that. <clears throat> Makes it super easy. There's no reason to hardwire anything. Make your life easy. All right, this is like 10 bucks. You can get it from, I think Walmart sells them, but you can also go to crutchfield.com, who is also not affiliated with me in any way, but I really like their business and they're easy and the prices are cheap for everything. And they will even, for an extra like 10 or 20 bucks, they'll even connect the jumper harness to your radio harness that you buy from them for you. So like if you don't want to sit there and butt splice all these, they'll do it for you, which I had them do because... I wanted to save myself time and make my life easy. But then I got into the car and had to deal with this crap. So it's not easy anymore. But yeah, they'll literally make this for you. Super simple. Here's a little update. I cut all the connectors off that were junk, threw the rest of it away. And then I cut back some of the sheathing. I threw some heat shrink underneath and then, you know, heated that up. Just used a lighter. You don't need anything crazy. Once that was heat shrunk, I throw a little bit of electrical tape over top of it. And now we have a nice, smooth looking harness. Um, I'll cut all these to length uh, to make them even. We'll strip them back. 
and then crimp on the connectors and then um, once the or the terminals I'm sorry so once we crimp on the terminals we'll pop those into the connectors in their right spots and we're good to go all right so then as you crimp it you'll see it's got a nice crimp on the metal there and then the back just crimps the sheathing um, but yeah you want to make sure it's nice and connected there and then you should pull on the terminal it shouldn't pull off all right and that's what we're going to do for all of them all right now that all of these are terminated now we're going to match them up to their connector and plug them into the connector and we'll be done um one other thing i wanted to make a note of is that this uh blue and yellow right here is 12 volt constant which means that there is constantly 12 volts coming out of this straight from the battery so if you were to touch any of these with this it's going to arc or it's going to you know make the speakers pop so you'll know which speakers which but if you hit like ground or something you're going to arc so just be careful with this one um just a heads up on that all right everything's successful got the radio to turn on all right i've got sound i'll play with um all of that later obviously i don't have the antenna plugged into this so it's not going to pick up any radio but this is how it should have been factory plugs directly into the harness adapter which then plugs into the radio's harness all right then it's nice and plug and play and easy for the next person um, i have to figure out these last five the previous radio these weren't plugged in at all they were just coiled up and off to the side so i'm going to figure out where they go i don't think they are used in the radio i think they go to something else um i think there's a third plug that these go into so i just need to figure that out and i will let you guys know when i figure it out but for right now these aren't used um one of them should be the antenna um connector so i gotta figure that out because i got my antenna here with nothing going to it so one of these is antenna but after that then that's it so that's how it should be now grand without his first time but in all right 16 games, everything's working six homers five doubles and has driven in cool 16. with it feet close together the 01 this is the first station I found. Go Red Sox. All right, cool. I'll button this up later. Right now it looks good. All right. Ended up figuring out these last couple pins, thanks to Cam again. So we have the red and black right here is going to pin eight. And then pink and blue is going to pin nine. And that's going to be for the antenna. All right. So again, I will make a cheat sheet in the description. But that's pretty much it, and then everything will work. Um, these ones off to the side are for the amplifier and stuff for the subwoofer. I don't have any other plugs, so I'm assuming that I'm just missing a plug right here. The third plug that would go to the amplifier subwoofers. Um, so these three, I'm just not going to use, so I heat shrinked them. And I did crimp them, so the next person all I have to do is cut off the heat shrink. But, yeah leave that be those will just hang out in the back and then i'll wire everything up and we're good so but that was the that was the missing connections right there so i'll again make a pin out make it super easy for everybody